Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I am going to be doing an, an acrylic design because I haven't actually done an acrylic design on my channel for a really long time. Um, so I thought it was about time I probably did one. Um, just to point out, my natural nails are back. I'm going to grow them out again because I don't know why I ever went back to acrylic. Turns out that now I've got used to having builder gel on my natural nails. I find using acrylics really difficult because I'm so used to them being a bit thinner now. So the acrylics didn't last very long, but there we go. So first of all, we're doing a black, grey and silver and white set. So I'm just going to show you everything that I'm going to be using. So first up, they're all from Tia's Beauty and we've got Diamond here, which obviously you'll see better when I come to use it, but it's a beautiful silver glitter. So that is the first one. And then I'm going to be using Shadow, which is this stunning grey. This one here, it's got a slight shimmer in it, which is really, really cute. And then I'm also going to be using Black Ice which is this one here, it's a beautiful pre mixed glitter. And then I'm also going to be using black, which has got a slight shimmer in it. They also, Tia's Beauty do do like a flat black and it's called Jet, I think. So you can get a flat black, but I'm going to be using this shimmery one. And then I'm just going to be using clear and what's it called as well? What's it called? White, that's the one. But I am going to be using those from a different brand just so I don't waste the stuff that I use on my clients so let's get started I've got a different I've got a plan like for each nail sort of thing so every nail is going to be different I'm going to be using this really small brush it's literally just a size I don't know it's not even got writing on it anymore it's that old but it's either a, an eight or a six I think it's an eight to be fair. I think it's too big to be a six so first things first I'm going to start off with this nail which is going to be a full black glitter nail so we're going to be using black as the base and then black ice i think that's what it's called um on top of that so i'm not too bothered about making this black underneath like absolutely perfect coverage because like i said i'm going to be like covering it in glitter anyway but i do want to make sure that it is it does have at least like a wash of black underneath so if there is any small gaps underneath like in between the glitter and stuff it won't look really strange if that makes sense because there'll be some black underneath and it'll also give the glitter a bit of depth as well and because it's got chunkier pieces in I find it's much easier to miss tiny bits with a chunky glitter than it is with a fine glitter so I'm just covering the whole nail with black obviously if this was well I'm doing it thin now as well but if this was on a client I'd be doing it super super thin I'd have already placed my clear base um and then obviously when it come to a redesign, when my client came back for a different design, I could file it back to that clear and then we'd be able to start again with a new acrylic. So that's the black. It's absolutely beautiful. And then I'm going to go into my pre-mixed glitter and we're going to just place that on top. It is absolutely stunning. That piece is far too big. It is absolutely stunning. It's got real like different types of glitter in it. Um, It's got just all sorts as you can see like there's shards there's hexagon pieces there's fine glitter there's not a lot that isn't in this glitter to be fair it is beautiful so i'm just covering the whole nail in that so i'm using it quite wet because then i've got more time to move it about and place the pieces of glitter exactly where i want them And then it also means if I use it wet as well, I can pick up quite a lot of product but without using a lot of liquid and actually picking up a lot of the clear acrylic. Like it sort of just helps the glitter pieces of the pre-mixed glitter stick to your brush without necessarily having a large amount of the acrylic itself. So I'm just going to fill this bottom bit in here with some little pieces. There's a little gap there that I'm just going to fill with a couple of specks. pick up a little tiny bit more there we go it's an absolutely stunning glitter and I can't wait to see how it looks when this whole set is done and how it all comes together but that's that look how beautiful that is it really is just something else so while we're on the subject of full glitter I'm going to do the other full glitter nail while we're here so this one is going to be full silver so this one I'm not putting a base down for I'm literally just going straight in with the glitter because it's quite a good coverage glitter. 
um, because it's got really, really fine pieces in and also the like medium sized hexes. So it's really easy to get a nice full coverage of this. So this one is diamond, it's absolutely beautiful. There is another one, a uh, silver jewel that you can get from Tears Beauty that is a silver premix glitter and that one is beautiful. It's got chunkier pieces in. So if you do want one with chunkier pieces, absolutely get that one, it is stunning. I do have it, but I wanted to use this one for this set. I haven't worked with acrylic on my channel for so long, so I thought it was about time I filled that little void. I do, I have picked up, like, which is why I haven't done a lot of acrylic on my channel lately, is that when I used to do acrylic on here quite often, it was very clear that the majority of my viewers were gel people. Like either gel nail technicians or people that are doing their own gels at home. I did have a few people that were doing acrylic as well, but I think the majority of you are gel. But... I thought it was fair enough to do a video to suit the even if the even if the ones that have, the, even if my viewers that do acrylic are basically in the minority like in terms of all of my viewers then it wouldn't matter because at least someone is going to watch it sort of thing and a lot of you are really kind anyway and you say like oh this isn't the type of thing that I do or have or whatever but I still enjoy watching the video for it so that's really kind And to be fair, even in like work sense, I don't use a lot of acrylic anymore. I have managed to get my clients over to build the gel now, so I don't use it all that much. But look at that, isn't it beautiful? So that is the full silver nail done. Let me just get another one of the tips. So the next nail is going to be a half and half nail, but we're not going to do like a, I've done it before on my channel where we've done like a cut out of the middle and things like that. So I'm going to just keep it simple this time. And it's going to be half and half um, black and white. So I'm going to go in with my white on one side. Obviously this nail is already white so it seems a bit pointless. But I am just going to do the white just because obviously a natural nail wouldn't automatically be white typically. So we're just going to pretend that this, that this nail isn't already white. Something in there. I'll just get that out. So I'm going white down one side and then the other side is going to be black. But we are going to be covering up the middle area where the two colours join together. So don't worry about that being perfect. Because they'll be covered. I'm doing my white first because if I take the white too far over onto the black side, it's really not going to be a problem because obviously black will cover white very easily. Whereas not necessarily vice versa. So if I somehow did throw a load of black on when if I was doing that first and it came far too over one side it'd be a bit of a nightmare to cover that up with white so that is why I'm doing the white first so once I've done that I'm then going to pick up my black put that on the other half make sure the coverage is coverage of it is nice and opaque these um, Tears Beauty coloured acrylics are brilliant, like majority of them are extremely opaque. You don't have to put any effort into them, like they don't marble or anything like that. They are such good quality and so little, like, and so affordable. Like the price is brilliant of these powders, especially now because if you don't like do a hell of a lot of acrylic or you're just practising or you don't know if it's going to be too popular with your clients or something like that, um, they do really small ones now as well. So you don't have to fork out hundreds and hundreds of pounds to get them all in like a big pot if you don't use them that often. So they are brilliant. Highly recommend having a look at those. Okay, so once I'm happy with the application of my black, I'm just going to set that one aside for a second because I want it to be, it doesn't matter if it's like completely set, but I want it to be a lot more difficult to move basically like at this point I'd be able to move it around really easily if I place something on top of it and I don't want to affect this like half and half thing that I've already done because I'm happy with how that looks so I'm going to pop that to the side and move on to the next one while we wait for that one to set so this one's going to be a marble with grey basically with all of them with the grey white and black so 
I'm also going to put some silver in it as well, but I'll do that afterwards. So first things first, I'm going to get some of my grey and I'm just going to pop it up this corner. And I'm going to make sure the corner is nice and full coverage and then I'm just going to bring that across and blend it out. I'm not covering too much because obviously you don't want a big massive corner of grey. And then the marble start further down. So I'm now just going to go into my black, place it on the nail. I'm going to leave it quite wet and runny. I'm going to go into my grey and then into my white. And I'm just going to run them all through each other. Not too much because they will blend together too much and you'll basically just create another colour. And that is not what I'm trying to do. So again, I'm just going to place my white and then my black. I do make sure to not use too much black because black is very overpowering. So if you have a little bit more black than anything else, you won't really get the effect of anything else because the black will just take over. So I'm going through them like a couple of times with my brush, but not too many because like I said, they will just blend together sort of thing. And then I'm going to start with black. And then this, this bit should then finish off the nail if I use enough product. Again, just pulling through up and down so you get the effect of all the colours. I'm just going to add a little bit of white just to this gap here. I'm not too bothered about how it looks though because I am going to be going in with a bit of glitter now. So I'm just going to pick up some of my silver glitter and place that down here. On the free edge of the nail. Well, what would be the free edge? And then I'm going to get the black ice glitter and I'm going to place that up in this top left corner which obviously would be the cuticle area of a real person. And then I'm just going to go into my silver one. I'm going to bring that down the middle area. I'm going to do the exact same thing with the black ice one and put that up to where the silver one is so we get a bit of both in the middle. And that's the marble nail. So I'm going to pop him out of the way. And then I'm going to go back to this half and half one now because this will be ready for me to sort of finish off. So we're going to be putting glitter down the middle of this one. So I'm going to do it quite thick because you want to be able to see the glitter. And obviously this is quite a thick nail. Whereas obviously if you imagine it to scale of an actual nail, you wouldn't have anywhere near this much product. But we're going with it. So I'm just going to place that on. Not making it perfect. Like we're not bothered about it being like super straight sides or anything like that. We're just placing it on and just having a... I move about. I'm not bothered about it being super coverage because we are going to be adding some of the black ice glitter as well just to tie it into the black ice nail. And we're just bringing that all the way down the nail right to the very edge. And then once I'm happy with how much of that I've got on there, I'm then going to go in with the black ice one. Just going to spread that out a little bit more towards the bottom because it's gone a bit thin. And then again, we're going into black ice and placing some of that over the top. These glitters work really, really well together. They're really, really nice. And then just making sure that we've not got too much on there. We don't want a really thick application because when we encapsulate, we don't want it to be really bulky. So just adding a few specks and then that's that one. Stunning. I love these shard pieces in that glitter. If you can just see that bit there, it's beautiful. So that's that one done. So this is what they're looking like at the moment. We've got all of these going on. And then this last nail is going to be black with a silver glitter fade down it. So I'm just going to go in and apply my black. I use my brush. Um, I use my brush. I clean my brush off a lot when using black. Um, because it is super, super pigmented and it will sort of like sort of stain your brish bristles as such. So I do, when I'm using it, wipe off a lot, dip into my liquid a lot and just make sure that I am really paying attention to cleaning my brush when I'm using black. I don't know why I just picked up that tiny amount, but... <laughs> Never mind, I'll get a bit more. You can even see me do that one, I don't think. 
So I'm just making sure that this black is nice and opaque because the free edge area is going to be just black. But like I said, that is super easy to do with these powders. They are really, really pigmented. Okay, so once I've done that, I am just going to pop a little bit of grey at the top to go underneath my silver. Not too bad about the blend, because like I said, it's going to be a glitter fade. So once I've done that, I'm going to go in with my silver glitter and I'm going to place that about here where the black sort of ends and bring it to both sides. And then that is when I will brush it down over the black and up towards the cuticle area to get that fade effect. Okay, and once I'm happy with that, I'm then going to apply black ice at the cuticle area and blend that down into the silver. And that is why I applied the grey at the cuticle area, is because I'd be going in with black ice. But I didn't want to put black up there because then it'd be as dark as the free edge of the nail and I didn't want that. So I'm just making sure that this glitter is nice and like full coverage up here, blending it over the silver so it doesn't just look really blocky. And then once I'm happy with how much black ice glitter is on there, I'm then going to actually get my silver and I'm going to pop that where the black ice meets the silver and I'm going to blend that upwards over it so it's really blended in well. Perfect. And once I'm happy with that, that one is finished. Super, super simple. So this is what they look like so far. I'm going to go ahead and cap them off camera and give them a quick file. And then we can top coat together and see how they turned out. Okay, so now for the fun part. <laughs> this is the bit we've all been waiting for, I think. I absolutely love top coating. It's always the best part of an acrylic design set. This is one thing I do miss about doing more acrylic designs. That one is clearly very wonky and I've almost pulled it off by filing so i'm just going to stick that one back down so first things first i always wipe over with acetone just to melt the top layer um which in turn gets rid of basically all of the little scratches that we've created um with the file basically and then i'm going to get my lamp ready and we can start top coating i'm so excited to see how these have turned out look at that how magical is that look at the difference between that and the bottom half of this nail it is crazy how acrylic works always always never fails to surprise me when it comes to top coating stage at how just how sparkly they get i'm using the diamond gloss um top coat from diamond glitters gel perfection so once i've done that and then i'm just going to go in with the next one give that a wipe again Make sure my lamp isn't facing me so it's not going to cure my top coat as I use it. Just look at that. How satisfying is that process? <laughs> I'm just popping them in the lamp as I go along and then obviously at the end I'll take them all off the stands and everything and put them all together so you can see them as a set. Look how beautiful. Just this area here, like you can just see it glistening. Like It's so good. I love Love, love, love this pre mixed glitter. It's just beautiful. And then next we've got our glitter fade. And then last but not least, we've got the marble. I absolutely love this black. Obviously, you could do this set with a plain black and a plain grey, but I just love shimmer and sparkle and everything. So, as much of it as possible is good with me. And then, last but not least, we've got the marble nail. Give that a good wipe over. I love a good marble, especially in contrasting colours so it doesn't blend too much. It's nice to be able to see all the different colours. 
come through so there's that one i'm going to pop that in the lamp and then like i said once they're all cured i will come back and show you what they all look like together so here is the finished design i really hope you enjoyed this video i love how they turned out i think they're so so sparkly just look at that reflection absolutely stunning well i hope you enjoyed this video anyway thank you so so much for watching and i'll be back soon with another one bye